Fewer workers complained against their bosses over salary disputes despite the pandemic last year. But more than 9 in 10 got their money back, continuing a trend seen in recent years. The Tripartite Alliance for Dispute Management says salary disputes dipped by 20%. The amount recovered was a total of $15 million. Michelle Teo reports. Serving drinks and clearing dirty dishes from tables. Working part-time as a coffee shop assistant every weekend. Madam Tan earned about $700 a month. But the sole breadwinner, who doesn't want to be identified, found herself shortchanged $200 for her work this year. That's when Madam Tan turned to the Tripartite Alliance for Dispute Management and got her money within two weeks. Last year, the incidence of salary claims from locals went up slightly to 1.61. This is mostly from sectors hit hardest by pandemic restrictions, such as F&B and accommodation. But overall figures did better, falling to 2.15. It's because of much lower rates from foreign workers at 3.47. Tadam says efforts, especially in the construction sector, helped. Workers now get electronic payslips and an app to bring up salary issues quickly. Wage support schemes also played a part. Without these, experts say the incidence rates from locals would also have been worse. I find that the job support scheme has definitely been a great help. It sort of, you know, gives you that time to tide through a very difficult period. When there is no income, when business stops, cash flow becomes a very big problem. And, you know, but salary is an essential component. So there will definitely be a shortfall if not for the GSS support. At the same time, claims lodged over wrongful dismissals also stayed stable for the last two quarters of 2020. Calling last year unprecedented, Tadam says it's expecting figures down the road to stay stable. Still, it will depend on how quickly borders open and businesses resume fully. We continue to tell workers, look, if you have salary disputes, come forward quickly. Uh, we continue to give out advisory to employers to say how, you know, you should reinvent yourself. You know, what are the challenges? How do you combat and, and move forward and keep your business afloat? Other safeguards include a fund that supports lower wage workers whose employers cannot pay them due to business failure.